There are 6.4 billion people in the world today. By 2030, this figure will be more like 8.1 billion. And by the year 2050, there will be an estimated 9 billion people on the planet. To cater for such increases in our population will be quite a challenge for the food production sector, which will have to deliver 50% more food in the next 25 years. And in poultry production, we face perhaps the greatest challenge and opportunity of all. Forecasters agree that poultry meat and products will see the highest growth from current outputs of 85 million tonnes each year to 130 million tonnes by 2030. To meet this growing demand, production must scale up accordingly, which in turn is driving the need for fully automated processes. Automated production calls for uniformity in processing. Without uniformity, production efficiencies are lost, and the end product is likely to cost more. From noisy, colourful live markets to the sanitised, plastic-wrapped whole birds and cut-ups we find in supermarkets, poultry and poultry meat products have never been more accessible or more affordable. And affordable remains the key to continuing growth in the poultry sector. There are more than 60 million extra people to feed around the world every year, half of them in Asia. Poultry meat challenges no religious or cultural barriers. It is widely regarded as a healthy source of protein and usually available at a lower retail price point than other sources of meat. The poultry industry has seen major changes over the last 15 years. If you look today, um, the top six producing countries in the world being the USA, China, the EU, Brazil, Russia and Mexico account for about 70% of world poultry production. If we look then at international poultry trade, that is dominated by the USA and Brazil with about 80% of all exports. Looking at the future, we see Asia emerging as a powerful force in poultry production. Throughout the region of Asia, we see producers scaling up production because they anticipate a growing demand of poultry product. The population in Asia will represent nearly 60% of the global population in that period, but not only uh, is it the number of people, but the disposable income in Asia is growing far above the global average. So although today uh, consumption is a, in Asia is about half the global average, uh, six kilos in Asia compared to 12 kilos globally, uh, the production and consumption in Asia will grow at about 3% a year compared to a 2% a year global average. In order to meet this increased global demand, the poultry industry will have to grow with well over 2% for the next decade. That is 2 million metric tons of poultry products produced more on a yearly basis. And that is, to put it in another way, a global industry that will have to produce a billion day old chicks more on a yearly basis. 
that brings a sustained growth throughout a highly integrated worldwide operating industry, an industry that Pass Reform has worked and studied for almost a hundred years now. Pass Reform is a truly international company. Pass Reform supplies hatchery equipment to more than 100 countries. We are locally present in all the important poultry producing regions like Asia, the Americas and of course Europe. Uh, Passiform supplies turnkey projects, which means the layout, everything that's connected to the building, but also, of course, the incubators, hatchery automation system and climate control. We are working together with strategic customers through our expert user groups. And through these expert user groups, we try to find out what the demands of the customers now and in the future will be. Because the feed prices are rising very strongly, Feed conversion is of course a very important aspect and the belief of our customers is that the feed conversion and uniformity of DL chicks are strongly related. That's why our academy is trying to find solutions to improve this chick uniformity. These solutions, these developments are being implemented into our products but also into our services. It is the academy's detailed research program that identified two critical challenges for hatcheries in the future the changing demands of genetic progress and the importance of chick uniformity. The first challenge is genetic selection. Genetic selection for different selection traits brings with it increasing variability in the physiology of growing embryos. The main challenge for modern hatcheries is uh, the increased variation between breeds because of genetic selection. Uh, there is an, an increased variation between the breeds and within the breeds, so there is more variation between the quality of eggs. And this means that for the hatchery it's more difficult to achieve uh, uniform batches of chicks. Consequently, the hatchery manager must be able to manage the embryo's growing environment with pinpoint accuracy. He must meet the needs of today's modern breeds while understanding the impact of genetic advancement for the next 20 years and beyond. The second challenge is the achievement of chick uniformity. It is a real challenge for everyone who is in incubation, whether it's in single stage or, or multi-stage. But it's even more. It used to be in the past that what the hatchery would say was that all we needed to do was have hatchability and have livability for the first three days. That's our only assignment. What we found is that's not true, that they have a critical component for the performance of that bird in the, in the field. There are certain elements that they look for as far as commercial industry, uh, rate of growth, uh, mortality, um, breast meat yield, an immune function, ability to withstand any kind of challenges, whether it be environmental or whether it be disease. And, and incubation has to do with all of this. All conditions which are being able to compensate for the age of the breeder, the size of the egg, how long they've been stored, and other factors which have to do with uh, environmental temperature, the air coming into the uniform product, also going to get it. Such accurate management can only be achieved in a single-stage incubation environment, a place that provides homogeneous temperature distribution for every egg, the factor most relevant to achieving uniformity in the hatch. If in the setter the temperature is not homogeneous, this means that we cannot support the embryonic development for all eggs uh, according to their natural pattern. So we will induce more variation between the embryos and we would like to incubate such that all the embryos can grow according to their natural pattern and induce less variation in, uh, in development. This is only possible when we incubate in small batches, so uh, sections of 90,200 in a modular single stage incubator because the single stage incubator gives us the facilities to incubate uh, for each batch of eggs and each type of eggs according to their natural pattern of development.
Plus Reform has pioneered the development of modular single stage incubation technology for more than 40 years. Science, engineering, technology and a wealth of practical experience have succeeded in understanding how to work with genetic progress to promote chick uniformity. Pus Reform smart incubation technologies enable the hatchery to actively manage the developing embryo while it is still in the egg. Modular design and precise control allow a diverse range of incubation environments to be created and managed at the same time. These homogeneous conditions produce the shortest spread of hatch and a short spread of hatch delivers high uniformity and a healthy hatch with improved post-hatch performance. Pus Reform, setting standards for uniformity.